I thought I'd show you this is kind of amusing. This is this is where I left off last time, right? I had to find this bushing that I had to use because part of drilling of this stuff is you're going to be drilling through your spar, but I don't want to cut the spar. So what they do is they have you use a bushing around the drill bit to protect the spar, and you start by drilling that through this hard steel and then dr drill up to the eventual correct size, which I think is 3 8 um, But I couldn't find the bushing, and so I had to... Re resort to going back to uh, the plans and not, not just these plans but they actually get an inventory packet with each kit and I had to go back to the inventory packet and say where the hell is this bushing and there's a bunch of pages of this and finally I found it on here that it was in bag 1397 well this is bag 1397 there's one two three four five six other things in 1397 that are not even remotely alike. Let me come around over there and I'll show you a little bit closer. So the one thing that I actually need is right there. This little teeny bushing is what I actually need to do the work. But it was in this big old bag that, I mean, you would have never seen it had you not known to go look at it there. So uh, there's a lot of that and, and I keep harping on organization, but Organization's kind of important. So anyways, I'm gonna be digging this out and then working on that. So the bushings don't fit. They try to, but they don't quite fit. Yeah. Okay, let's see. These are the right bushings. So I have the right F-drill bushings. I think maybe I'm gonna just gonna go touch the edges ever so slightly on the disc grinder over there using the aluminum because I can kind of feel a little bit of an edge. So maybe when they cut these, uh, it just added, a, it imparted a little bit of a burr that is bare. I can't see it, but I can kind of feel it. So maybe doing that and they'll fit in there. And then get the number 30 drill and give that a shot. So let me go do that. That does not fit at all. Okay. Hmm. Well. Um... Okay, so I did what I said. I kind of bird that off a little bit, uh, just a little touch, and then try to insert it in there, and it still does not fit. So these are the wrong size. Or are they the wrong bushings? Let me see if I have something else called an F drill bushing in my parts list. Maybe I got the wrong, wrong ones. It's possible there are other F-drill bushings. Sometimes they name things, you know, incorrectly. So let's go through that right quick. Okay, so I've gone through all of the plans, or all of the inventory packets, and, and this is the only bushing that I have that that uh, is call, called out as an F-drill bushing. I've touched up this a little bit on the on the uh, disc sander over there, trying to just bring it down ever so slightly to see if it'll fit in there. It still doesn't fit in there, which is interesting. Um, so the idea behind this is to give you a, a way to drill a pilot hole, but that didn't work. I mean, you're supposed to be able to start with a, you know, put a number 30 in here. So I have, where's my number 30 drill bit? Yeah, number 30 fits in here perfectly. So you're supposed to be able to put this in there, bork, and then pile it with this, and then step up to you know, a number 12, which uh, uh, which is what these holes all are for down here. But it doesn't work. It doesn't fit. After a bushing. Hmm. 
So the only other option really is just to go directly to the number 12, because the number 12 does fit. So this is my number 12 right here. It's already on the drill bed, or on the drill rather. So, just, I mean, it looks just a, just a smidge too big, too big. So this then is how I'm gonna have to drill this sucker. And if I put this in here, it fits perfectly, but this guy doesn't at all. Yeah, okay. We may have to forego this step. It just doesn't fit. We have to forego this step entirely, the, the bushing step, and just go straight to drilling with the number 12. The danger there is damaging this. I think that's the whole idea is they don't want you to damage it. They want you to drill the number 30 pilot hole first and then you upsize to the number 12. And that does make sense. You know what, I think I'm gonna work on this a little more on the this sander until I can get it in there. Because I think that is a better way to go uh, than just starting with a number 12. Because you could have chatter, you can move around, it could cause damage to the spar. And the last thing we want is damage to our spar. So I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna go work on making this fit. Oh, look at that. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha. So, all I did was take off, I mean, I basically scratched the paint off. Um, let me come around there again. So you've got the two different versions of this, uh, this bushing, and you can see here, the one on the right, this is the one I've been working on, and this is the one that uh, I haven't touched yet. All I did was literally scrape off the dark coat of, I don't know, oxidization? I mean, this is probably aluminum, I have no idea if this is, it's not blued or anything like that. So it's, I scraped off so little. Um, and all I did was I held, I, lit, I put this on the drill bit and I held it up to it and just let it spin against the disc until this is thin enough now to fit in there. Um, and it fits in there snugly. I probably could give this a couple more seconds on that thing, but it's enough. I think that we can start doing our pilot holes. So creative problem solving. Um, I, uh, this is obviously meant to fit, but it just doesn't. So again, I think, uh, I think they've changed this spar since these plans were originally made. Um, maybe, but either way, this solves the problem. And now that fits in there enough that I can do my, my drilling. I hope <laughs> it's a little tight. Uh, let's see. It's a little tight in the middle. Maybe I'll, I'll give it another second or two on the, on the doohickey. That's not a bad idea. So while that idiot works in the background, I've had a number of people ask me if this compressor is enough to do the job. Absolutely. Uh, this is a nice big compressor. It is a pancake compressor as opposed to a piston, so it's real loud. Uh, but it doesn't run that often for me because I'm not actually using a lot of pneumatic tools other than the squeezer. If you're going to be using pneumatic drills, you might want to look at something either bigger, well, bigger for sure, uh, but also not pancake. I've been told before by people that pancake compressors have kind of like a limited shelf life, whereas a piston compressor will last forever. So really, just be careful in what you pick. I mean, this thing costs 150 bucks at Home Depot or less. Uh, Harbor Freight probably has it even less than that. Works great for me, uh, and your mileage may vary. Okay, drill bushing successful. And hopefully we've got a successful hole and I'll use a Cleco instead of this to do the other one. Let's see, let's flip this sucker over and take a look. Ah. Yes, success. So now that we have successfully drilled a single hole, yay, we're gonna do it again for this other hole and then the four or five that are across the bottom here, It'll be like five, I think. Let's see. Because I can actually just look through them. Those two I don't need to drill. So these three and this one I need to drill and this one. So I've got five more holes here to drill to get this part 
happy. So I'm gonna put you on time lapse, and that's what we're gonna do right quick on this part and this part over here, so I don't bore the tar out of you guys. <laughs> Alrighty. I can see how the fuselage is gonna get real heavy real quick. This is steel, um, and there's a lot, so it's gonna come a point where I'm gonna need somebody else to help me manhandle things. So I'm gonna turn the heater back on too, so here comes time lapse. The response for the new video format has been largely positive. I really appreciate all the feedback. A couple of you did say it was sort of like watching paint dry, which I do appreciate, thank you. I am trying to speed things up and kind of move things together in such a way that it is not boring, still informative and easier on me. Um, so thank you for your feedback. I'm gonna to continue to improve. Also, uh, I had a, a question recently by a couple of you actually about my mission as to whether or not my mission has changed with regards to my company and my new work and all the other th stuff. The answer is yeah, uh, but I think you know your mission is going to change as long as the core tenants are there. I want to fly and I want an awesome airplane and well, I've already got the stuff, so might as well keep going, right? So that's the thing, I'm gonna keep going, I'm not gonna sell it all off and start something else. Instead, I'm gonna build this plane, keep it forever and sell the next one I build. That's a conversation for another time. All right, now that I've done that, um, I've got both of these match drilled. The holes are pretty good across the bottom here. These two big holes obviously are not ones that I drilled. Those came pre-drilled. These other ones though are drilled and ready to go. Uh, I need to now match or up drill rather these from a number 30 to a number 12, which is what these are across the top. Uh, I didn't do these, these came this way. So, um, yeah, these, these six holes down here are the ones I now need to updrill on both of these. And again, I'll do that in time lapse uh, to keep the video length down. Hey guys, I just wanted to say thank you so very much for all of your support. If you want to help support this channel, jump over to my Patreon page and for as little as a dollar a month, you can help support me. Just think of it as buying me a cup of coffee over the internet. And if you really, really want to support me and you want to build a plane too, you can. When you order your kit from Vans, if you use my builder's number, which is down in the comments below, Vans will send me a hundred bucks like these three guys did. Hey guys, take pictures and videos, share the progress. Thank you so much for including me in that progress and I can't wait to help you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Anyways, guys, thanks. Okay, so lesson one, get good drill bits. Um, I had to go rush out and buy a couple extra drill bits because the carbide number 12s, I only had two of them. I basically burned them up over the course of all the building that I have done and working on these two things, finished them off. So I had to throw those away and get into a couple new ones. I went over to Ace Hardware and I got a couple Irwins, which are not good drill bits to be honest. And I burned both of those up finishing this well. So they've also gone in the trash. So I'm gonna be ordering a couple more nice carbide drill bits um, because those were junk. Uh, and then the other thing is, is I was looking for a way to add an extension to my deburring tool. Unfortunately, I, I, they didn't have anything, but it just so happens to, that the 90 degree tool that I have here, the cutter head for my uh, deburr, it's the same thread. And so I was able to get in there and do the little bit of deburring I needed to do using this guy. Um, that was darn handy. So got that done. And with that, I've got all the holes drilled on these things. So the, the WD-1021 uh, uh, left and right, and we're good. That's it, that's step number five on page two. Ugh, all right, now on to step number six. Yay. So now this is another one of those examples of a, of a step that has very little to do. So the very next step in this process is step six on this page. Basically it says, run a bolt through all these holes just to make sure that things kind of line up. The idea behind that, remember, was that we pulled these off to up drill from the number 30 to the number 12. Number, th number 12, by the way, is an AN3 bolt. This is an AN15. I don't actually need to put the threads on it. I just need to run it through to make sure it all lines up. This was the longest one I could find quickly and easily. And so the ID being, I should be able to put this bolt uh, all the way through and I can't. Why can't I? What is going on here? Does it fit on this side? Uh oh. Oh, it, it just wants to screw through. That's why. Okay, so it does fit. I just have to screw it through. So, yeah, so there you go. Same thing. It just wants to twist through. So, make sure it fits through all the parts. It appears to. 
that one that one looks like it'll press through so maybe running a drill bit through there just a little bit to kind of clean it up will make things easier but that's what i'm going to do now is run this through and, and clean up the holes but real simple like, like there's really nothing to do you're just kind of checking a fit so awesome about to mark off another step all right so now that we've got step six done step six again was to just go through poke a bolt through all the holes, make sure they line up, they do. I've taken uh, both of the landing gear assemblies off now so that I can do some machine countersinking. So on the bottom of this guy, you can see these two holes are larger than the rest of the holes across the bottom. And that's because we're gonna be doing some machine countersinking for some bolts. So that's the next thing I need to do is to these number 10 screws MS24694S67. S67. <sighs> Gotta put those through on either end. So that's what we're gonna be doing now. Thank you so much, everybody. I really appreciate you. If you'll do me a favor and click that like button down there. And if you wanna get notifications, click the subscribe button and the bell. That way you'll get notified every time I release one of these. I am trying to release more videos as I can. Anyways, thank you so very much. See you next time.